Good, Good morning, morning from, from Epcot. Epcot. So we have a lunch reservation here at the Coral Reef Restaurant. Um, we've been here a couple times with the kids. We had a really good experience. Yes. And we wanted to share this with you guys this time. Yeah, it's been a couple of years since we've been um, and they renovated, I think the last time we went was right after they had renovated and opened up. And, but this will be a different experience for us because we've never dined here, just the two of us. Yeah. So it should be nice. But this is also an excellent restaurant to come to with the kids because of all the, the sights and everything. Um, it's, a, it's a great spot. So we're excited to show you. Join us at the table. <laughs> the menu, we have specialty drinks, we have a draft beer, non-alcoholic specialty drinks, we have the appetizers here, and the entrees. Alright, they have a pineapple coconut bread with honey citrus butter. It's really good. It smells good. It does look good. It's like a nice fresh loaf, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's light and it's warm. It smells good. You can really smell the butter that they serve this with. It smells amazing. This is really good. It reminds me of the butter that they sometimes serve at the Kona Cafe at the Polynesian. It's, it's delicious. It's very light. It's a great, great start to the meal. Oh, that bread's really good. So it, it's like a pineapple coconut bread. Um, so I can definitely taste those two flavors in it. Nice and light. You know, you can tell this was definitely handmade, and it was. This is fresh. This is like right out of the oven. So this is very good bread. Um, and the butter is also very good. It's like a, a honey citrus infused butter, um, and it's kind of whipped too. So it's like nice and light and. Uh, melts really easily on the bread. It's just very good. So but so far, this, just the start of the bread is, is, is really impressive. So yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. For an appetizer, we decided to try the seafood artichoke dip, which has cream spinach artichoke on ciabatta, and that's $16. So the appetizer came. This is the seafood artichoke dip on ciabatta bread. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really good. This is good, it's creamy, there's a good amount of the salmon in it, so if you like salmon and like artichoke dip, you're probably going to enjoy this one. There's a little bit of like spice in it, which was a little unexpected, but it's not overwhelming or anything. Uh, it has a nice spicy kick to it. But it's good, creamy, fish, good salmon, I like it. Yeah, this is really good. I am a huge fan of artichoke dip. Uh, I feel like every time it's on the menu, we, we end up ordering it. This one's unique. This one has seafood in it. So it has shrimp and it has salmon. So definitely a different take on it. And if you like seafood, if you like artichoke dip, this is definitely your jam right here. This is very good. For a starter, I order the New England clam chowder. It's clams, applewood smoked bacon, potatoes, and cream. That's for $11. All right, so here's my clam chowder. This is looking really good. Nice big pile of bacon on there. So the clam chowder is really good. Flavors are good. I love the bacon on top. Anything with bacon is better, right? Um, the only complaint I have is the clams. I feel like they were a little overcooked. They're a little bit on the chewy side. And I'm also getting the chewiness out of the bacon too. Portion size was really good. I think for the price, it's a pretty good value. I feel like you could get an appetizer and a chowder and call it a day. I mean, it's a good amount of food. Would I order it again? Probably not. Um, as I finished the dish, it, it was just the, the chewiness. It just kept happening over and over again. It, it was just really hard to chew the clam and the, uh, the bacon in there. But the flav flavors were good. I just, yeah, I, I just wouldn't that one again. You know what I noticed? There's no music playing. Now, I don't know if that's because it's like the ocean themed in here and it's supposed to feel, you know, like you're in the ocean. Uh, but it's a little loud in here because it's all open because you want the, the beautiful views of the tank. So 
I'm just noticing that there's no music to kind of cut the, the noise level. Um, but it's, it's fascinating. I'm just over here in totally speechless. <laughs> but there's two divers in there um, working, so it's just kind of cool to see. A plus for atmosphere. I decided on the shrimp and grits. It's Cajun grilled shrimp, seared grit cake, and dewy hash and Cajun emulsion. All right, so here's my shrimp and grits. This is looking really good. And there's a ton of shrimp on here. Not too sure what this is. It's almost like a dried spinach. Get it all on there. The shrimp and grits is really good. Um, I'm enjoying it. The shrimp is cooked just right. Um, the grit cake is probably my favorite grits I think I've ever had. I mean, just, I don't know if it's the way they prepared it, like how they put it into a patty and they seared it. I'm not sure if that, that's what's given it a different flavor. It just seems creamier than usual, almost like a mashed potato. Um, so I'm enjoying that a lot. It's got a, a little bit of a spice to it. You know, it has that Cajun flair for sure. Um, I like the andouille sausage on there. That mixed with the, the grits and the shrimp, it just has a really nice taste. Um, and the dried spinach on top, I think that's what it is after trying it. Uh, it's interesting. I've, I've never had anything like that. It doesn't add to the flavor, no. Uh, it definitely makes it look really cool. I guess my only complaint is the salt level is really high, not just with the, the spinach, but pretty much the whole dish except for the, the grits. The grits was perfect. The shrimp was was very salty, and I feel like I can't even finish the dish because of the salt level. Um, very good, I love the flavors again, but it was just very, very salty for me. Um, but uh, other than that, would I get it again? I think I would. Um, I, I might request next time just for a little less salt. I, I know the chefs can kind of cater to your, your specific needs usually when you come to Disney. So in terms of value, I think it's a good price. Uh, plenty of food, plenty of shrimp, and uh, I'm full. So <laughs> I might have to take a doggy back home today. But yep, so we're in, definitely enjoying our meal here and uh, the atmosphere is, is great. I, I'm loving it in here. And I decided on the mushroom gyoza, the vegetarian option, which has roasted mushrooms, scallions, blistered tomatoes, and a tomato lavender broth. That's 27 dollars. All right, here's my mushroom gyoza. Looks really good. That's a tomato lavender broth. That's different. It's beautiful. Nice presentation. It smells good. I can smell the lavender. I've never had a lavender-based broth in the soup before. Have you? No. Yeah. I'm going to cut right in. I love lavender, though. Yeah. For my dish, the, um, the gyoza, it's a tomato-based broth with uh, lavender, which is really unique. It's a very, it's, it's a good flavor, but it's probably not. Tomato-based soups are typically my thing, so I probably wouldn't order it again, but I would say it's a pretty good option for, um, for vegetarians. The, the gyozas. Their type of dump room. Um, this is a mushroom one. It's it's really good. It's probably be. I, I would probably like it better out of the broth. It, it's just a touch salty also. So I don't know. It's just like a heavier salt day. But um, yeah, I I like it, but not so much the broth. The gyoza, I like the broth. Not not for me. <laughs> I love this restaurant just from the vantage point alone of being able to see this awesome aquarium. Um, it's 5.7 million gallons and it's the second largest one in the United States. The other one being in Georgia. So on the menu they give you this QR code and you scan it to get fun facts about the marine life that you're likely to see at the restaurant here. So this is the what comes up when you scan. We have the Coral Reef Restaurant Spotting Guide. So you can these are all the different marine life you can see. Spot the species and it's the same tank that you're going to see on the seas with Nemo and friends on that ride. It's just on the other side of it. Scalloped hammerhead, small most front, a lot of different um, yeah, ra it's rays amazing. in there. Yeah, just goes on and on. So, um, very cool. Yeah, very fun. All right, so that was a, that was a pretty good lunch. Yeah. Uh, the atmosphere was great. I love uh, the atmosphere in there. I feel like that's like one of the best ones that you can choose atmosphere-wise. It was. The kids are always mesmerized when you're in there. I mean, I was mesmerized. Yeah. <laughs> we sat up above. Yes. Like kind of in the middle of the restaurant. Would you say that that's a better view? I think of it the is because I, I was watching the people that were right up against the glass, 
and they can see perfectly like they can probably have a great view if they look up you know and see some of the fish that are swimming above but they're so close to it that they're missing kind of everything else that's going on on the other side so i feel right. like if you're up it's a little better you get to you know the full view it's yeah. a nice restaurant it's in a great spot easy to locate they have you know uh, menu wise i think the prices are it's pretty pretty decent for Disney sit-down dining. I would say it's one of the yeah. more affordable options. So the total was a little over 100, and that included two appetizers and the main dishes. And it was a lot of food. It was a lot of food, I'm yeah. full. Yeah, um, we have so, leftovers. <laughs> yeah. We have leftovers, I know. <laughs> that, that How often does that you. happen? That doesn't <laughs> usually happen. So yeah, yeah, the portion size was very good. I think we got a good, good bang for our buck in here. Definitely a good, great place to bring the kids. Yeah. I would say this restaurant out of all the park would be, in terms of family friendly, this is probably your best bang for your buck for a table service dining. Yeah. Um, but my meal was a little bit salty. I think yours was too. Yeah, just a touch on the salty style. Although I've, I've had that dish that you had before and it wasn't overly salted. Like it was just, it's, yeah. you know, it's like sometimes you come and sometimes Could be the day. a little little saltier than usual. But I um, guess my recommendation, if you do eat here, just ask for a little less salt yeah. and then you could always add some if it's, if it's not right. salty enough. Yeah, yeah, that would have made it a little better. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah we enjoyed it. Uh, great atmosphere, nice and relaxing in there. Love the lighting. Yeah, um, it's a little chilly though. Like, a little chilly. Which is great because we've come on really hot summer days with the kids and it's like we're just melting when we get in there so yeah, exactly. you have time to cool off. Yeah. Um, but it was a little chilly today because it's just not that hot. Yeah. But anyway, it's, it's nice. It's cozy. The, yeah, like you is. said, the lighting. It's like you, when you step back out, you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Our server, Luz, she was, was amazing. Yeah. I enjoyed her so much. She was so helpful, always yeah. coming to the table and making sure that we had everything we needed. Yeah, she was Very delightful. attentive and yeah. yeah. I, Thank you, Les. Yes. I appreciate you. <laughs> Great job. Uh, but yeah, so I guess that, that does it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. We enjoyed making it, of course. Yes, we did. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye.